Hello, hello. Oh my God, where's my video? Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Hello, hello. You know, something's up with my video. No. What's going on? Let's see here. Turn on the camera. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, it was on. It was just stuck. That was weird. Welcome to Monday. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos a El Lunes. The last week. This is the last week. The this last is week. <laughs> this is our last four days. And then we move on to another module, which is good. How is everybody doing? Did you guys? ¿Qué de ustedes? Bueno. Eh, el famoso aguinaldo. Yo no recibo aguinaldo. My, my work, they don't, uh, they don't do any of that stuff. Me neither. No, no. All right, all right. <laughs> Yo me voy a dar mi propio aguinaldo, I think. I think that's what's going to happen. And hopefully it does happen, you know. Uh, In my case, it's still waiting. Elisa, you, Elisa, you do get... Yes. Está esperando. O, o está esperando o ya cayó la rata. El águila. ¿Cómo dicen la rata? El águila. It's still waiting. It's still waiting. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. It's coming. It's coming. I have some friends that they're getting it. El nueve les cae, pero ya lo deben. That one, it's gone. That's really, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. I told them. I told them, be careful with it. All right, guys. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. I want to talk a little bit about um, nuestra plataforma. Let me go ahead and share with you guys real quick. Share it. And there it is. Platform, and as you guys can see, ya se está terminando. A ver, déjenme. Déjenme modificar la cámara. Creo que me salió muy morenito. Estoy saliendo. Permítanme, permítanme. What happened with the t-shirt? Uh, looking for another camera, I think, because he looked like black and he wants to be like Australian, maybe. All right. Okay. Machelito, huh? Eh? Yeah, like an Australian. Whoa, there it is. There it is. We got it. You see that? Es que, hombre. Dos años en la... Dos años ahí en la nacional estudiando fotografía, vas a creer que no va a pagar. It's not paying off. All right, okay, guys. Going back to the platform, section five. Meeting, cortito. Cortito, cortito. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up a little bit. Some exercises. And I have one for you guys. Actually, we have a couple today. Y para esto les voy a pedir que me ayuden porque son role plays y lo que vamos a tratar de hacer es conversation. 
how to get better with a conversation, a back and forth between two people. Entonces, creo que lo vamos a estar haciendo así toda esta semana, ya que si ustedes pueden observar, es bien poco lo que hace falta. Eh, los noun phrases se pueden cubrir actually in one day. And then los knowledge checks and then videos. That's what comes in section five. Y lo que estaba pensando es tratar de cubrir el final exam en los últimos dos días. So that, I also want to incorporate that too. That way, we can ensure que todos estamos pasando ese final exam. And then, aquí están. Okay, in section five, ¿cómo van ustedes? How are you guys doing with the platform work? Sure. How many of you guys? How many of you guys have already covered? Hey, by the way, do you guys see I have a new headset, man? Oh, this one is pro. Este sí está. Ve, mírenlo, eh. Mírenlo, eh. Míralo, eh. The last and, one doesn't work. Yeah, man, I had to. Do you remember that? I had to. Yeah. I had two that didn't work too well. Okay, uh, with the platform, how are you guys doing? ¿Quién ya lo completó la, plata, la plataforma? Platform number, section number five, platform work. I'm still working on that. You're still working on it, Elisa. Eh, un poco más compleja, ¿verdad? Con el, con el cross-cultural video. A lot of information that they give out, a lot of things that they talk about. Yes, it is. Buena la conversación que se tienen. Okay. Luego comenzamos con los non-phrases. Y de estas creo que nosotros ya la habíamos visto. Era la relative clauses. Relative clauses with subject and object. Los knowledge checks y luego los final exam. Acuérdense, por favor, que el final exam tiene, eh, tiene de todo. From all the sections. Now. Aquí dice diciembre 19 como día final, but it is not. Please remember that it's December 10th. El 10 de diciembre se acaba. Entonces, ojo con eso, porque 10 de diciembre va a caer. Oh, my goodness. Sí, sí, Elisa. Tonight, bring me a message. Tell me December 9th. Not 10. December 9th. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to talk to the admins about that. Because, as you can see, the class goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 10th is the last day. You, sabe, you know what I think, Elisa? Creo que están mandando el 9 porque quizá piensan de que hay personas que dicen, ah, tengo hasta el 10. Entonces, van a esperar hasta el último día para hacerlo y después tal vez el rush, ¿verdad? Entonces, creo que like por eso... Maybe, maybe that's why they're saying the ninth. But I'll double check and I, I'll, I will ask. I know for a fact that it's on the 10th because that's what they told us last week. Okay. Okay, so Thursday the 10th, hopefully, right? Y acuérdense, por favor, que esta semana, oh, you know what? That's what it is. They need to get started with the enrollments for the next module. And the only way they can do that is if everybody has completed the modules that they have, that they have been assigned. Entonces, si ustedes ya completaron el módulo, se les hace mucho más fácil a los admins poderles brindar eh, los formularios para el siguiente módulo y ya comenzar el proceso. Creo que por eso lo, lo han estar, lo, quizás lo están haciendo de esta manera. Así es que ojo, ojo con eso. Ok. All right. So for today, guys, I wanted to discuss practicing. Comenzar a practicar todo lo que nosotros hemos visto. Y comenzar a implementarlo en una conversación. Ahora, comenzar súper fácil. Y estos son unos role plays. Uh, en las cuales ustedes lo único que tienen que hacer es leer. We're going to work on our reading. We're going to work on our pronunciation. And we're going to work on a conversation. Una conversación. 
Y si ustedes pueden observar, les tengo varias para que podamos practicar. Eh, con esto, the practice has to do with being able to put all the information together and then using it in an actual conversation with another person. And it could be over the phone, uh, you know, doing the, the videos. And I think that would work well for us. Cuando ya hayamos completado esto, vamos a cambiar los role plays un poco y lo vamos a hacer un poco más personal. We're going to make it a little bit more personal. I'm, I am going to have a list of questions that I will be asking you and then you get to answer back. Entonces, eh, eso, acuérdense que es durante toda esta semana. So, the idea is for us to begin to practice that. Uh, en su siguiente módulo, ya ustedes van a tener un teacher que les va a estar hablando muchísimo más inglés. And they're also going to be requesting a little bit more conversation and participation. So, so we, we, we have to get started with that and we have to get in, in that mindset. Okay. All right. So, as you guys can see, the role plays, real easy, and they have different scenarios. For example, on the first one, we're going to go to a restaurant. On the second one, we're going to a cafe. On the third one, we have, I believe it's a doctor's appointment. Yeah, it's a doctor's appointment. On the fourth one, I want to call in and make an appointment. And then on the final one, uh, let me see, or, or is it the other way around? I think the receptionist and appointment, Claire works as a receptionist. Okay, and somebody's gonna call in and make an appointment. So let me see what this, one. oh, okay. This one is a conversation about going to the movies, going to the cinema, okay? So pretty easy role plays. And what I wanna work out is the conversation piece and also the pronunciation on the words. Okay? All right. So who wants to try out? Who wants to go first? And I'll be, I'll be, I'll play one. I'll play Joe. And on this one, there's a Joe and there's a Mark. Who, who wants to play Mark? Me. Volunteers. Joe. All right. All right, Joe. We can do that. Okay. Real easy, real easy. Jose? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Now, on this one, we're going to go what we call cold turkey. All you have to do is kind of listen to it and then just play it by ear and keep rolling, right? Keep reading. All right, Joe. Let's go. Perdón. I am Joe and you are Mark, okay? Okay, I'm going to be Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. One. Here we go. Who's next, please? Hi. Can I order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please? Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Er, yes, I'll have a large Diet Coke, I think. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger with regular chips and a large Diet Coke. Would you like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Er, wait a minute. Yes, I, can I have an apple pie as well? That's fine. Uh, so, that's a large cheeseburger, regular chips, a large Coke, and an apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I order a Diet Coke. Okay, sorry. That's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 45, please. Cheers. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. Hell, I gave you a 10 pound note. Did you? Uh, let me see. Yes, okay, I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem. There you go, enjoy your meal. Cheers. All right, really real English on this one, right? Like I think we went to Britain. And I think that's what the little P was a pence and I, it just barely came to, you know, to, to my mind. Yeah. So it was four pounds, 45 pence. I guess, I guess that's the way they say pennies and stuff like that. Right. 
Cuatro libras, 45 pence. Okay? All right. Okay. There was a portion here, Joe. Let me see here. Where was it? Uh, where you said, hang on. I think it was around here because that's when I gave you the change. Here we go. All right. Let's try this one one more time. Okay. And the idea is for you, you have to sound out that hang. Hang on. Hang on. I gave you a 10-pound note, right? Hang on. I gave you a 10-pound note. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. Hang on. I gave you a 10-pound note. Well done. There it is. Hang on. Okay. You got it. You got it. That's it. Okay. Who else wants to go? And this time we're going to swap it out. Or Jose, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to switch? And this time you be you, you can be Joe and I'll be Mark. Okay. Okay. Let's try this out. All right. Okay. All right, Jose, go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hooks next, please. Hi. Can I order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please? Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Uh, yes, I'll have a large Diet Coke, I think. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger with regular chips and large Diet Coke. Would you like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Yes. Can I have an apple pie as well? That's fine. So that's a large cheeseburger, regular chips, a large di a large Coke, and an apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I order a Diet Coke. Okay, sorry. That's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 45 pence, please. Cheers. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. Hang on. I gave you a 10 pound note. Did you? Uh, let me see. Yes, okay, I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem. Uh, there you go, and your your meal. Cheers. <laughs> all right, all right, we got this. Yes. Teacher, sorry. Okay. I think that a uh, girl wants to join to the class. Oh, really? Let me see. Yeah. But I don't have to, It. it I, I can't, like, I don't have the permission if she uses. I mean, she, she wrote on the group. Uh, I don't know if she is still oh, trying let me, to join. Okay. Let me check. Well, that's. Let me check, let me check. Because there you don't need approval for this one. You can just join the meeting. Let me see. No, I think I think that's it. I think she said I am able to join. Let me see here. Ya pude, teacher. A mí se me había caído. Oh, okay, gracias. Okay, we got it. Muchísimas gracias, Wendy. Okay, Elisa, we got we got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're all set. Okay, Joe, how did you feel with this role play? Mm, it was great, actually. <laughs> you liked it? Okay. All right, so I noticed something when you said large. Let me see, where is it? Uh, there, here it is. Large. All right, so in this one, I want you to think of, let's see. I want you to think of the word largo in, in Spanish. Sí. Okay. So, you know, you start off with lar, right? And then you, tw you twist that over to go. So it's largo. But in this case, instead of doing that, we're going to go large. And then we're going we're gonna to cut it off. And we're just going to say g, large. Do it one more time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. Let me see. Sound it out. Large. large. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger. Wait, that's a large Coke. Well, a large Coke. Oh, well, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, large <laughs> cheeseburger. Let yeah, sure I'm sorry about that. I ordered a uh, 
large cheeseburger with regular chips and a large Diet Coke. There we go. There we go. So what happens with us in Spanish, this sound here, the GE, is usually a little bit of a problem. So there's a couple of problems that we have when, when we're using certain words, the pronunciation. Uh, TH is a big problem for us. Uh, la T, la H, o ese sonido de th, it, it's really problematic for us. Another one that we also struggle with, nos cuesta mucho, también es este sonido de la G y la E. So Hang whenever on. I hear you guys uh, saying it uh, at a certain way, I'm more than likely I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, okay, let's work on that one for large, right? Large. Large. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, who else wants to try this one? Who else wants to try this role play? Real easy, you know, you just have to remember that there's some there's some Britain stuff going on, British, British stuff. Who would like to try it? Fer, do you want to try it a little bit faster? Yeah. Un poco más rapidito. Pongámosle un pasito ahí, pongámosle ahí un cumbión bien, ¿verdad? Bien matón. All right. Fer, if you want, I can start off with Joe. And then you can be Mark. Hi. All right, let's go. Uh, who's next, please? Hi, can I order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please? Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Uh, yes. I have, no, I'll have a large Diet Coke, I think. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger with regular chips and a large Diet Coke. Would you like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, can I have an apple pie as well? That's fine. So that's a large cheeseburger, regular chips, a large Coke, and an apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I ordered a Diet Coke. Okay, sorry, that's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 45 pence, please. Cheers. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I gave you a 10 pound note. Did you? Uh, oh, let me see. Yes, okay, I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem. There you go, enjoy your meal. Cheers. All right, all right, there we go. Okay, with this one, even though cheeseburger is very long, you have to make it sound like it's a little bit shorter for so, cheeseburger, de un solo, cheeseburger. Say that, repeat that, repeat it one more time. Cheeseburger. All right, there we go, cheeseburger, right? Now, usually when we have like, cuando vemos estas palabras largas, what we do automatically is we get two separate words. The issue with that is that you could lose that fluency, right? So what you try to do is you try to make it as fluent as possible and the way to do it is to make that word sound very short, even though it's really long, all right? So that's a large cheeseburger, right? cheeseburger, de un solo. Regular chips, a large Coke, and an apple pie, de una sola vez. All right, good, good, good. Fair, let's switch it around, let's switch it around. Now you are Joe and I will be Mark. What's next, please? Hi, can I order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please? Like a drink? No, thanks. Uh, yes, I'll have a large Diet Coke, I think. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger with regular chips and a large Diet Coke. Would you like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, I can have an apple pie as well. I'm sorry, can I have an apple pie as well? That's fine. So that's a large cheeseburger, roller chips, a, a large scope, and an apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I ordered a Diet Coke. Oh, okay, sorry. That's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 45 pounds, please. Okay, cheers. And that's 55. I don't know how do you pronounce it. I think that was pence. Pence. Yeah, yeah, pence. Okay. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get you, your, I'll get your merch. 
Hang on. Sure. I gave you a 10 pound note. Did you? Uh, let me see. Yes, okay. I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem. There you go. Enjoy, enjoy your meal. Cheers. All right, well done, well done, well done, sir. Thanks. Let's try another one. This one, this one's a little bit too British for us. <laughs> Gets me all confused too. Okay, I have this one. This one is also very easy. I want you guys to kind of go through it. And then let me know if you guys would like to practice it. I will like to show. Alexander, thank you. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Are you start with Jeff or Shelby? Let me see here. Jeff, if you want, let me see here. Let, let, yeah, I can be Sophie. You can start off with Jeff and I'll be Sophie. Or, or who wants to be, so Elisa, you want to be Sophie? Maybe want to be Sophie. Oh my yes. goodness. Ed, okay. We could do it like that. Alex, would that be okay? Alex. Perfect. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let me let me put everybody on mute and then you guys can take yourself off of mute. So hold on, give me one second. And that includes me. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there goes my mute. All right. Three, two, one. Hello. Hi. Can I have the coffee, please, and a cup of tea? Okay. Do you want me with all of them? Um, two black coffees for a little bit of milk of tea. Cheers. No problem. There you are. Thanks a lot. Have you got the angular? It's on the tables. Thanks. That's three pound fifty pence, please. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, cheers. Okay. Perdón, yo gritando aquí en mute. <laughs> okay, well done, well done. All right. So there are and and this goes for the entire class, right? As you guys can see, there are all of these words, okay? Because we are starting out. You have to you have to ensure that the words are pronounced. So they have to they have to sound like this. Hi, can I have two coffees, please? And a cup of tea. And a cup of tea. Okay, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because eventually you guys are gonna start saying them really quick. And what happens is that some of the words se pierden, right? O se pierde eh, cómo se tiene que decir la palabra en sí. And so the more you practice with each word individually and pronouncing each of the words, once you move forward to the phase where you are talking really fast, you will, you will not have problems with missing some uh, first letters or ending letters. Now, La razón por la cual les digo esto es porque, eh, fíjense que fui, fui a una consulta en la cual estaban haciendo o estaban escuchando a las personas cómo hablaban and they were paying close attention to the end of the words. How were they starting the words and how they finished the word. And it was weird because it was an actual conversation, but they were able to keep track of it. So, eh, Maybe if we practice a little bit later on, we might be able to go a little bit faster, okay? So let's try it out like this. Um, hello, right, we start off a little bit and then go, hi, can I have two coffees, please? And a cup of tea. I know it sounds kind of weird, but what I want is I want us to pronounce each of the letters. Well, I'm sorry, each of the words, okay? All right. Um, Alex, Ellie, can we sound it out? Can we switch? 
can we be, let's see, Ellie, you would be Jeff, and Alex, you would be Sophie. Okay. All right. All right. Let's start it off. Three, two, one. Hello. Hi. Can I have two coffees, please? And a cup of tea? Okay. Do you want milk in all of them? No problem. Sorry, sorry. Here, two black coffees, but a little bit of milk in the tea. Cheers. No problem. There you are. Thanks a lot. Have you got any sugar? It's on the tables. Thanks. That's three pounds fifty. I forgot the word, teacher. It was pens. 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 Yeah. That's three pounds fifty pence, please. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Okay. Okay. So let me tell you. Let me go back a little bit in in why we did it. Right. So on the first run, there was a couple of, of words that kind of went missing. So you had the sentence and then the words were kind of missing. So even though it sounded good, right, there were some words that were like, what, what was that? Okay, so now with this time, the way we did it, I was able to hear every single word in this conversation. So well done, guys, okay? Sometimes we try to to maybe get a little bit, um, try to talk a little bit faster. But I want you guys to know that if you go slow, it's okay. If you have an accent, it's okay. But what it's not okay is for words to not be pronounced correctly. And that's what people will, will tell you, right? It's okay with the accent and it's okay if you sound slow. But the words have to be said the, the correct way or else you're going to have people tell you what, right? And we don't want that in a conversation. So good. Wait. This one was very easy, right? Um, Alex, Ellie, how, what did you guys, what did you guys think? Yeah, a little bit easy. <laughs> it was a little bit easier, right? I, I, I heard a lot of good flow on this one. All right. Okay. Who would like to try it? with a little bit more speed and to, so you guys can hear that conversation in an actual environment a little bit more speed who wants to try it with speed and see how that sounds alex you want to give it a go and i'll be yeah. sophie i can be sophie and you can be jeff okay this Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. Um, Jeff, go ahead, Alex. Okay, hello. Hi, can I have two coffees, please, and a cup of tea? Okay, do you want milk in all of them? Uh, two black coffees, but a little bit of milk in the tea. Cheers. No problem, there you are. Thanks a lot, have you got any sugar? It's on the tables. Thanks. That's three pound, 50 pence, please. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So you guys, so now this is what goes on, on, a, on in a conversation, right? Some of the words interlap with other words, and that is called linking. And so even though it sounds like maybe the sounds are not there, they are there, only that one goes on top of the other one. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of weird like that. And so if you're really listening to everything that's being said, you can actually hear that going on. And it sounds very fast. But in reality, all it's doing or all somebody's doing in these types of conversation is putting these words and interlapping them one with one another. So remember, remember the term. That one is called linking. And it's part of pronunciation. It's part of enunciation. And it's part of conversation. Okay? All right. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much, Eli. Thank you very much, Fer. Creo que no te dije ni gracias, ma. Mil disculpas ahí, Fer. Mil disculpas. All right. Okay. We have another one. This one is a little bit more intense. As you guys can see it. Give it a, give it a look. Check it out right quick.
Okay. So this was a little bit more complicated. It's a doctor, and you guys know, even in Spanish, vas a un doctor y no les entendes. Ah, y te están ahí hablando enfrente y te dicen, eh, 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 con todo ese lingo, toda, toda la jerga de, de, lo, de lo médico. Okay. Who wants, to, who wants to try this one? I would like. Is that Wendy? I think Wendy and Ellie. Ellie, we can go on the second round. I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to try it out with Wendy. And, okay. and it'll be, let's see, Wendy can be, well, actually, let me, you know, Wendy, what would you like to do? Would you like to be Dr. Collins or would you like to be Tom? Um, I don't know. I would like to be Tom. Tom, okay, okay. I can be the doctor then. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Good morning. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, not very good, really. What can I do for you? I feel terrible. I think it might be high fever, but I did never had it before. Whenever I go outside, my eyes start inching and I almost feel like I'm crying. My nose hasn't stopped running for about a week. Do you think it's a high fever? Well, have you ever suffered from these symptoms before? No, I don't usually get it like this. I just started getting bad recently. Have you got a high temperature as well? Not really, but I feel sleepy and like I almost got a cold come on, coming on, sorry. I can give you some antihistamine tablets they'll make you feel a bit more like yourself and less drowsy. Thank you. Obviously, avoid going to places where there's likely to be high pollen count, gardens, parks, and so on. But do you think it is high fever? Yes, it does look like it. I'm afraid the antihistamines will help a lot. Take two tablets twice a day after eating, come back and see me if things don't improve, okay? Is everything else all right at the moment? Yes, it's just the, well, it's probably the high fever that's making me feel so awful. Thank you. Okay, all the best. Make another appointment if the tablets don't help. Thanks a lot. Can you ask the next patient who's waiting to come in, please? Yeah, yeah, I can do that, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wendy. So with this one, este de aquí se llama hay fever. Así como que, hey. Okay. Right. okay, okay, I got it. So hay fever and let me see. I think that was it. I think that was it. It was just a hay fever. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, Wendy, let's, let's swap it out. Now... You are going to be Dr. Collins, and I will be Tom. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. Good morning. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, not very good, really. What can I do for you? I feel terrible. I think it might be my, I think it might be hay fever, but I've never had it before. Whenever I go outside, my eyes start itching and I almost feel like I'm crying. My nose hasn't stopped running for about a week. Do you think it is hay fever? Have you ever suffered from this? I forgot that word. <laughs> Sym symptoms. Symptoms before? <laughs> no, I don't usually get it like this. It, it just started getting bad recently. Have you got a high temperature as well? Not really, but I feel sleepy and I like, and like I've almost got a cold coming on. I can give you some anti-histamine tablets. They may make you feel a bit more like yourself and less drowsy. Thank you. Obviously, I'm going to place where there's like to be 
a high pollen account, gardens, park, and so on. But do you think it is hay fever? Yes, it, it does look like it. I'm afraid the, oh God. Antihistamines. The antihistamine <laughs> will help a lot. Take two tablets twice a day after eating. Come back and see me if things don't improve, okay? Is everything else all right at the moment? Yes, it's just, uh, well, it's probably the hay fever that's making me feel so awful. Thanks, then. Okay, all the best. Make another appointment if the tablets don't help. Thanks a lot. Can you ask the next patient who's waiting to come in, please? Sure. Bye. Bye. So this one here, antihistamines, or it could be anti. Yeah. So you could say antihistamines or antihistamines, but usually people will say antihistamines. So antihistamines. Okay. Antihistamines. Antihistamines. Y, y esto creo que sirve para las alergias. Para las alergias lo dan. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And then, <laughs> let me see here. And then the one, this one here at the bottom, eh, se pronuncia como una E, como que si es una E la que está ahí. So se pronuncia como patient. que si, patient. 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 Mm -hmm. patient. There you go. So even though there's an, there's an A, we say patient. And those are, those are the only things. Thank you very much, Wendy. Thank you. Okay. All right. Who would like to try this with a classmate? I know Ellie wanted to try it. Who? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give Ellie the opportunity. Anybody wants to try the role play with Ellie? Voluntarios, voluntarios, voluntarios. I could I could do it. I could do it. Veo que todos están así bien con ganas de voluntariarse el día de hoy. All right, Ellie, let's go. Let's let's try it out. Who do you want to be, Ellie? I want to be Tom. You want to be Tom. Okay, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. Good morning. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, not very good, really. What can I do for you? I feel terrible. I think it may be a hay fever. But I never had it before. Whenever I go, so my eyes start itching and almost feel like I'm praying. My nose hasn't stopped running for about a week. Do you think it is hay fever? Have you ever suffered from these symptoms before? No, I don't usually get it like this. It's just started getting very have you got a high temperature as well? Not really, but I feel sleepy and likely I've almost got a cold coming on. Okay, I can give you some antihistamine tablets. They'll make you feel a bit more like yourself and less drowsy. Thank you. Obviously, avoid going to places where there's likely to be high pollen count gardens, parks, and so on. But do you think it is a fever? Yes, it does look like it, I'm afraid. The antihistamines will help a lot. Take two tablets twice a day after eating. Come back and see me if things don't improve, okay? Is everything else all right at the moment? Yes, it just the well, it's probably the high fever that's making me feel so awful. Thanks, then. Okay, all the best. Make another appointment if the tablets don't help. Thanks a lot. Can you ask the next patient who's waiting to come in, please? Yeah, yeah, go yeah. and see, see, doctor. <laughs> Gracias, Eli. All right, thank you very much. So um, with, with the thanks, don't be, at the very beginning, when you start to use it, remember, TH has always been an issue for us. Siempre, siempre hemos tenido. Entonces, 
lo que se tiene que recordar es que de, de, la, la lengua tiene que llegar a la punta de los dientes de enfrente. So it should, it, well, it should look like this. Thanks, right before you say, thank you. And then, so the more you do it, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the more you do it, the more you do it, the less you need to put your tongue in the front of your teeth. But at the very beginning, when we're starting out, you're, you're going to have to get used to that para que se escuche bien el thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Okay? If you don't, sometimes it will sound like you're saying thanks, you know, like with a D, thanks, thank, thank you. Um, it could also sound like a thank you with a Z, like if you're saying thanks or thank you. So remember, the, the tongue, tongue and the teeth, thank you. All right? That was one. Uh, let me see. And I think, I think everything else kind of worked out. Everything else worked out. Um, I didn't hear any problems with the word hasn't. That one is also a little bit of an issue for us, right? Hasn't because there's an N and a T. Uh, okay, I think I th this one here. Outside. And then you just say it like that, outside. Think of two words, out and side, and then you put them together and you say it fast. So it, it's almost like saying out and side, and then you just say it outside. One big, one big <gasps> outside. Y lo tiras de una sola vez, outside. And then that's it, outside and thanks. All right, Eli. all right. Well done, well done, everybody, well done. Okay. I have another one here. I think this one is this one is for the theater, for the cinema. Okay. Who would like to practice cinema? Take a look at it. Read it to yourselves and then tell me if you want to try it out. This one is very British too. Sure. Alex, yeah. Uh, sorry, only only a question. Before the class end, will you help me with the Scrabble word with point point fight and knowledge check? Oh yeah, and we can we can definitely check on that. You know what? We're about to hit the. Uh, so let's do this. Let's finish this role play and then let's go back into it and then that way we can work on the. Okay. Five point five. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. All right. Who wants to try this one? Who wants to try it? A ver. They will like uh, me Terry. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Alex, let's try it out. You want to be Terry? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be Paula. Three, two, one. Good afternoon. You're proud to park away cinemas. How can I help you? Hi. Um, can you tell me what time the last waltz is on? Is it on tonight? It's been shown at 4 or 5 p.m., 7.50 p.m., and 8.50 p.m. tonight. Are there any late shows at all? No, we only do that at the weekend, on Friday and Saturday nights. Mm. What other films have you got on at the moment? We, we've got The Last Waltz, Time Heroes, A House in America, and The Bus Driver's Revenge Part 2. What time is a house in America on? It's showing at five o'clock, eight thirty p.m. and nine five. And okay, 9 .50, sorry. Nine fifteen. Okay. How much is it for an adult ticket? My friends got a student card. Do you accept student cards? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to say it. Libra. <laughs> oh no, that that one right there is for pounds. Um, so, yeah, you're right. So, la libra, pound. Okay. So okay. It's, it's okay. It's five pounds, 50, 50 pence for an adult with a student card. It'll be 495 pence. Okay. Thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Bye. All right. So, yeah, good. Way to go. Uh, the pounds came back to haunt us. And the pens, I'm, I'm really happy you remember that. 
five pounds, 50 pence. Yeah, four pounds, 95 pence. All right. Okay, Alex, uh, with the times, five o'clock, 8.30 p.m. and 9.15. Now, if you don't see the, the, the letters here, that's okay. Um, it's okay to leave them out, but also if you'd like, you can also include them. That, that would be no problem. So you could say 8.30 p.m. and you can say 9.50 p.m. if you see it that it's missing. Um, let me see. Oh, okay, all the way to the top. It says, good afternoon, you're through. Through, I think I'm going through. 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 Yeah, you're through to Parkway Cinemas. Imagine that you're throwing something, right? Or in past tense, you threw something. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And then that was that was pretty much it. So it was the time and through. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, you, Alex. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Anybody else wants to give it a go? This one's easy, but at the same time, it has a lot of numbers and, and a lot of stuff. Volunteers? Vol vol voluntarios? Voluntarios? Eli, 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 gracias, Eli, gracias, Eli. Representando aquí clase número 101 del teacher. Bye. Eli, who would you like to play, Terry or Paula? A ver, creo que se quedó en mute, Eli. No la escuché. Yeah. Uh, I want to be Paula. Okay, okay. I'll be Terry then. Ready? Three, two, one. Good afternoon. You're through to Parkway Cinemas. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, can you tell me what time the last waltz is on? Is it on tonight? It's being shown at 4.15 p.m., 7.50 p.m., and 8.50 p.m. tonight. Are there any late shows at all? No, we only do that at the weekend on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, what other things have you got on at the moment? Oh, we've got The Last Waltz, Time Heroes, A House in America, and the bus driver's revenge part two. What time is a house in America on? It's showing at five o'clock, 8.30 p.m. and 9.15. Okay, how much is it for an adult ticket? My friend got a student card. Do you accept student cards? It's 5.50 for an adult. With a student card, it'll be Four pounds, 95 pence. Okay. Thanks a lot for your help. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. All right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. We got this one. And I had, I had another one. I had some more for you guys. But remember that we have all week. And the idea is to get us to put to practice, you know, putting these words together, seeing how it sounds. All right, so let me go ahead and put this away. And let me go back to our work environment. And we are going to, uh, and Alexander, that was the knowledge check 5.5. Yes. All right, let's look at this one together. And everybody, if you guys haven't gotten to section five, there's a great opportunity for you guys to get a, like a, to catch a glimpse. Oh, okay. So this one is put the words in order to make sentences about living abroad. So if you are going to live in another country that is not your home, for example, you guys are from El Salvador. Let's say you guys moved to Honduras. That is called living abroad. Okay. Make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. That means commas, apostrophes, dots, and question marks. Okay, one thing I would like, I'm sorry, one thing I would be excited by, and then it says, is local the trying food? Okay, one thing I would be excited by is 
trying the local food. Okay, let me see if it sounds good. One thing I would be excited by is trying the local food. Is local the trying and then food. Okay, so literally what you do is you take the words that they give you and then you have to formulate the sentence or how it ends and dots question marks that's what they're looking for so let's try this one let's see how this one comes out let me let me cross my fingers on this one okay. i hope it sounds good yeah i hope it's good. right i hope it's good oh yeah baby okay we got it okay the second one is the one number <laughs> okay number two let's see this one would be the most curious about the thing i is meeting people my age um let me see this one's a little bit longer would be the most curious about the thing i is meeting people my age uh the most curious thing about whoa wait a minute i'm missing so the most curious thing oh man i need to put that i in there it's oh. a little bit confusing <laughs> yeah this one this one is a little bit longer so where can we put the i hmm oh The, I will be about the most I, oh okay let's see you said that was I would be mm. but the, the thing is that the rest would not be at the beginning the subject uh -huh. yeah I think so will be let's see the thing that I would be the most <laughs> curious about is meeting people my age would be no so that would be let me see let's go back here the thing Ah, uh, that I would be the most curious about is meeting people my age. I don't know. That sounds pretty good. Crossing finger, guys. Oh God. Okay. All right. I see. I see what you're. I see what we're doing, Alex. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and. I'll put these in the team chat for you guys. And then that way everybody can see it. Uh, if you guys get the answer correct, please help us out. As you guys can see, there, there can was something missing on here. What was, what was I missing? Maybe the dot. At the beginning. The, the dot? Thing, the thing I. The, the thing. thing I will. Without the that, thing. I will. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because that is not part of the sentence. Oh, the thing I would and be I the most be. curious about. Oh, we got it, Alex. Okay, great. Okay, so for number three, remember, guys, yeah. we're going to use the what's up. All right. Thank you, guys, for coming in today. Way to go on that one. Well done, guys. Well done for all of you. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good Thank night. you, guys. Thank you, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good evening. Good evening.